I built Pep Guardiola's 4-3-3 in Football Manager and won the treble with it. This tactic here is one that I have already fell in love with. If we go over a few things it did, Erling Haaland here, 94 goals. And that is 94 goals averaging an 8.31. He did it in 57 games. 94 goals, 57 games. We come here and look at the league. We won it scoring 123 goals, which is 40 more than Man United in second. Now, here is the 4 3 3, and I'm going to run you through it. Starting off at the back, fairly standard. Sweep a keeper on attack. When you have someone with the quality of Edison, you want them taking more risks and being more aggressive and forward on the ball. So, sweep a keeper attack just makes sense. Then, here at right back, we've got a full back with the sit narrower instruction on. Right centre back, we've got Ruben Diaz. Just on a standard ball playing centre back. Then at left centre back, we have a stay wider instruction on. And this is because our left back is an inverted wing back on attack. And this at times almost forms a free at the back in possession. Then in front of them, they've just got a defensive midfielder on defend. In front of him, we've got two centre mids. One a Mazzala on support. One a centre mid on attack. In front of the DM, we've got two central midfielders. One a Mazzala on support. And the other a central midfielder on attack. And both of these are told to pass it shorter. Now out wide on both wings, we've got two inverted wingers. And they both have the instruction to pass it shorter and stay wider so what we actually want these inverted wingers doing is picking the ball up from wide and then driving centrally with it then for striker we have a poacher who has passed it shorter turned on and the reason we use a poacher instead of an advanced forward is we want harlan not drifting into these channels we want him just in between this box always being a central presence for us and i think you can tell with the 94 goals he scored in a season it worked now for tactical style mentality we started off with a positive mentality obviously you can shift this back or forward depending on how a game's going now in possession we play out of defense we work it into the box we pass much shorter but something different to what I usually do with these kind of systems is we have a much higher tempo so normally with a possession dominant team I'd like have a slower tempo but with this team because mainly because of Erling Haaland I'm fine with us being more direct and going forward more often now for in transition we counter press and then our keeper distributes it to the center backs by just rolling it out this distribution is done in pretty much all ball dominant sides and then we counter press because as soon as we lose the ball we want to go and attack and win it right back and then for out of possession we have a higher press a higher line trigger press much more often stop the keeper from going short and step up that defensive line that's a rundown of what we do for the tactics so now I'm going to show you some of the goals we score with it just before i show you some footage of this tactic be sure to subscribe if you're enjoying this stuff and you want to see more fm content now here against arsenal this is a great example of us using the counter press to get a goal so we start off here arsenal just play it out and we're preventing them from going short so they go long and we regain it really easily then we go out wide to our inverted winger foden who's starting really wide and he can get the cross into Grealish, who's only against Cedric Suarez here, because Haaland has the two centre-backs both on him. So that's a really good example of how we use counter-pressing to score. Now here from kickoff, here's a goal that I think really shows the benefit of having that higher tempo with the shorter passing. If you look here, we're kind of just building it up, we're going very slowly. But Ruben Diaz, because there's that higher tempo, and he is on take more risks as a ball-playing centre-back is willing just to go over the top to Haaland if the line pushes up, as it did there. Okay, so here against Brentford, I think this goal is a good example of how having that almost like free at the back in possession really helps us. So if we look here, we turn over the ball, Brentford gear, and they look to go quite vertical. But because Laporte was on stay wider when we had the ball, he's already staying out wide here. And as you can see here... While we're waiting for Cancelo to get back, we almost have this free at the back. So here, Laporte's just able to pick it up and go straight forward to Cancelo. Then from here, we're able to play into Grealish because he's staying wider. He looks for the cross into Haaland and he's able to find him. And I think that's just a really good example of how almost being a free at the back, like with the ball, really helped us. Because sometimes you can get the striker running into the channel. And a lot of the time, a striker running into the channel would have gotten to that ball. I think those are good examples of the type of goals you can expect to score with this tactic. And one more thing I want to show you is how to get the most of this tactic. First of all, after every game, select all the players who've just played and give them two days rest. So if you just right click them when selected, go to training, rest, two days. Then as well as this, to get the team to learn the tactic faster and get them more on board with it quicker, after every game put in a match review session so if you just select a training session from the day after a game you can go to match preparation 
you can go to match review and as you can see here impacts tactical familiarity here's another fm tactic video be sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching